Hello and welcome to this video on creating your first WordPress site. Now in order to create this site you're going to need two things. One is to have purchased some web space and the other is to have the login information for that space available to you. Before we start I'd like to spend a minute discussing what WordPress is. WordPress is a content management system or CMS and what a content management system does is an application that removes some of the burden, uh, the technical burden of creating a website from the user and allows you to start uploading content and um, organizing your site much more quickly. Okay, now in order to get started we're going to need to open a browser. So we'll come down and we'll open, open Google Chrome. And I am going to go to web space that I've purchased, that's rcr.net. And when I arrive at that site, I notice that there's something in that space. Now, I did not create this page. This page was left there by default um, from the hosting company, Bluehost. So we're going to want to replace this with our WordPress site. So let's start by opening another tab and entering bluehost.com. Uh, when I do, in the upper right hand corner, I will find a control panel login button and I can click that. That will bring me to my login screen. Now, my domain name is already in the login box because I visited here previously. If yours is not, you simply can enter it or your username. And I am going to carefully enter my password so that I can enter the site. Okay, and I'll click the login button. And if I've done that correctly, in a minute or so, a second or so, I'll be at the site. Now there are a number of things here that we can take a very brief look at. The first is this getting started link and that will give you some information about Bluehost. The next is how to videos and they do have some good WordPress videos in there that you might want to take a look at. There's also a knowledge base and some other tools as well. What we're interested now is going to the control panel. The link all the way to the right is to get you to the control panel. Go to cPanel. And you'll notice there's a link up at top that does the same thing. It really doesn't matter which one you use. So I'm going to click and enter the control panel. And when you get here, you'll notice there's lots and lots of things. Please don't be intimidated. Um, there's a section of mail tools. And as I slide down, there's website builders or something called. Uh, there's our WordPress icon. And here's Mojo Marketplace, File Management Tools, Domain Management Tools. And you'll see there's lots and lots of free things. Now, don't be intimidated. These are all free and available to you. Or in most cases, they're free. In some cases, there are additional charges. But um, we use what we need to use, and we don't have to worry about the rest. So let's come up and start our site. Okay, under Website Builders, you will see an icon for WordPress. And that's the one we want to find. It's this W on a blue background, and we're going to click that icon. It'll take a second or so, and you'll notice that a new tab is opened at the top, and it's taking us to a place called Mojo Marketplace. And what this is is a website that Bluehost uses to aid in the installation of their WordPress and some other applications as well. Um, when we get there, we're going to notice two buttons, a Start button and an Import button. The import button is to bring an existing site. If you had downloaded a site that you created on another website and wanted to import it, you could do it here. Um, but we're going to create a new one, a fresh one. So in order to do that, we need the green start button. And we can just click that, start a new installation. You'll notice that it knows my website, uh, my address. And over on the right, it's a little hard to see, but there's an additional box. Now, you could use this box if you wanted to nest your, your WordPress site in another folder or subdirectory. We don't want to do that, but this is where you would create that. Instead, we're going to say that we're going to stay at the root or the top level of the um, portfolio, rcr.net. And so we'll just click this green Check Domain button. It'll spin for a second, and it's really just checking the space there. And we're going to get a message that says, oops, you know, there's something there. And if you continue, you can erase what's there. 
Now, that type of message might um, be a little concern for us, so let, let's figure out what actually is there. If we come back to my original tab, you're going to notice, oh, it's this page. This is the default page placed by Bluehost, and I don't really need it, so it, it's totally okay to replace it, which is what we're going to do. So let's continue with the process. First, I'm going to check that box. And two more boxes will appear. The first is Show Advanced Options, and when I open it up, it has some details about my site. It has the site name. Um, it has my login name. It has a password that it has automatically generated, and my email address. And I can change any of this if I want at this point, but I can also change it later. I just want to make note of that um, username and password so that I can get into my site when I'm done. So I'm not going to change any of these options right now. So I'll uncheck the box. And this is the second box is indicating that you've read the terms of service. And you can get them on this link here if you want to spend some time and go through them. Uh, but you must check the box to continue. Uh, there is also an option for changing the location of the install. Now we had that option earlier, but this is a second chance in case you missed it. We're not going to use that. We're just going to create the site now. This may take a few minutes, so we'll pause the video as the files are being created. Okay, you can see that after a few minutes we were successful. It did create the site. Um, it says success right here. This is the address of the site, which we knew. This is actually the address underneath. You're going to find the address of the administrative login, and that's how you manage your WordPress site, and we'll look at that later. Note underneath is your username and your password. Please write these down. If you leave the screen, you can reset it, but it's a bit more difficult. So um, if we check back on the main site and I refresh this page, we'll see that we were successful. A uh, WordPress site was created in that space. And in future videos, we're going to learn how to manage that site. And that's all there is to it. So we're going to come back. I will close out of Mojo Marketplace and I will log out of Bluehost.com.